Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, only a quick intraday update um, after the US market has opened. Uh, we've seen further downside pressure, little recovery. You know, we've seen a bit of a recovery today um, that led to a reset of wave two. Nothing really that changed in any way the structure. As I highlighted in the last video, this wave two was quite shallow, but um, you know, it would require a break above 58,520 this Wednesday high to invalidate the current structure. So we're still in the game for further downside. And it's just, I think, important to recognize again that first of all, we are now in an, we are, we are here at a wave degree where um, smallest wave counts can easily change just due to normal intraday volatility, small news events, whatever. And that the levels are more important than the structures, the micro structures, but it's still holding up very well. I mean, you see, this was another three wave rally. We've seen three wave rallies throughout, but five wave movements to the downside that adds to that yellow scenario to the probabilities of the bearish count. I am watching primarily the short term bearish scenario that can send us first in circle three into the low 50K region and then overall into the mid 40k region. Yeah? So in the last video, I also covered the daily chart. In this video, I really only want to give you a brief intraday update. Um, and the, the risk is always with these intraday updates. By the time I've uploaded the video, it might already have moved quite a bit. But that's why I give you always the levels, because you need to know one or two steps you know, ahead. What is what happens if if we break above? What happens then? You know, and what are the key levels then? So it might seem outdated sometimes, but it's typically not. Okay, because the levels do matter. Okay, so uh, let's say I provide a, a video update and we break again above the uh, intraday high here at fifty six thousand nine ninety. Do I need to make a new update? No, because. The levels are defined, okay, and you know typically what the, the relevant levels are. So anyway, I mean, what happened? We all we did really was we reset. We did reset this wave too. It's a wider flat correction, but that rally was also in three waves. It can still extend further. Absolutely, there's still scope for this wave two to extend further. Um, that that is possible. But for now, I'm tracking five down, three up. And yeah, it might still go a bit higher, but what did I highlight in the previous video? The real invalidation point is here, 58,520. Any break above it would first of all reset circle two. And a break above the Tuesday high at 59,830 would reset this wave too. <laughs> okay, so you see there is still plenty of scope for bearish setups due to all these five wave movements to the downside. But I explained to you as well in the last video that we, at some point, we just need that sell off. We need to see it because um, if we see, which is also a signal, if we see, you know, one, two setup, another one, two, another one, two, and another one, two setup, which are all these bearish micro setups, which are setting up for a decline, but the bears cannot really follow through and you get always these rejections and everything. Well, at some point we have to say the bears are probably starting to lose control, but we're not at the point. Um, it's actually following following through really nicely. And if this is now the wave two top, which it might be, then obviously we need to see a break below the intraday low at 55,350. We might see it now, I'm not sure. Then it could drive us down quite quickly into the low 50K region. First of all, to complete this third wave and a fourth and a fifth. I'm quite impressed how well it's actually following the microstructures. Um, we can recognize the micro patterns quite nicely at the moment on the Bitcoin chart. It's quite straightforward to see. So um, yeah, we just need to be ready for potential shifts in, in microstructure. Let's determine the targets for circle three and this smaller degree wave three. Quick reminder, I will send out the newsletter again um, tomorrow. I actually might do it late today. So if you want to sign up, you can find the link in the description. It's completely free. And there will again be updates about crypto, um, maybe the NASDAQ or the Dow Jones mindset stuff. Lots of useful stuff. So check it out. Um, again, link is in the description. So target for circle three. Usually I'd be watching for uh, these other fips actually. Usually I'd be watching for the 1.38 extension at the first 
ideal target, 53K. But we should ideally go lower because this is another long one, two setup. So we might see maybe 51.6K in circle three. Yeah? For this smaller degree three, here we can apply the idea of the 1.38 extension of this wave one and two. 53,160, yeah, so probably like 53K initially and then sort of the 51K area. That's how I see it. Um, I already told you what would happen if we break above the recent highs, which can always happen, but would that be would that be bullish? No, uh, an invalidation of a bearish micro pattern does not make a bullish setup. There is typically a larger bearish setup still available and it really requires an invalidation of all of them to clearly show that the bulls are in control. That's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.